Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, general reading uh, for Taurus. What are your blocks and challenges? Um, this is going to be for October 2022. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements, okay? Uh, this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, we're going to take a look and see where your blocks and challenges are, and then we will take a look and see how you could transcend transmute, overcome these blocks and challenges, okay? So um, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Okay. Uh, also, a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched, flipped, twisted, reversed. Uh, this reading is more so for the Taurans that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. But if you do want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? Uh, so Taurus, what do you have for Taurus here? Tell me about Taurus. What are Taurus's blocks and challenges? What are Taurus's current blocks and challenges for October 2022? What are Taurus's current blocks and challenges for October 2022? Oh geez, that's a lot. Okay, that's like almost the whole deck. Let's try that again. That's too many. I can't take all that. All right. Okay, we have the sun here and the knight of pentacles. Okay. So Leo energy with the sun, knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There you are right there. Uh, any of the energies that I just mentioned, you might have those energies in your chart also. We have the two of swords here and the four of swords. You know, I feel like you have a hard time accepting the truth or seeing things clearly here because I feel like things are right in front of you, but I feel like you keep those rose-colored glasses on. It's like an energy of you can't run from the truth, you can't hide from the truth. The truth will always still be there, you know? So I feel like someone here has a hard time with that. Someone here completely disengages, you know? Um, I mean, like I said, I mean, Taurus, you could... If you want to, you could switch the roles if you want. Maybe you know someone that does this, okay? Um, okay, we have the Knight of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles. You know, I, I feel like someone here, you know, is in this energy of being happy, but it's it's like pretend. But, you know, how, how are you truly happy if you're not living your truth or that you're not seeing the truth here, you know? So, you know, I feel like when it comes to this, you know, I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, you know, I feel like there could be, you know, some sort of assistance, some sort of help here. You know, someone here needs some sort of advice, but I feel like someone here is avoiding it or that someone here is avoiding getting help. Tell me about the sun. We have the Knight of Wands. Wow. Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. I also feel like we have someone here that has a hard time letting go of the past. This is not really typical Taurus energy like. I'm seeing three knights here. This is telling me that this person is a runner. This person avoids things, okay? This person's very flighty. This person's very in and out. I mean, this could be an ex that you dealt with here too. You know, when I do these self-help, these healing videos, you know, these spiritual growth, personal growth, I try to steer clear of love. But if it does come up, you don't have to read it that way. Two of Swords. You have a Chariot here, Cancer Energy. I do feel like there is a hard time making decisions here. I feel like we have someone here that runs around like a chicken with their head cut off. Like I feel like someone here does not know what they're doing. Okay? Like I feel like someone here does not want to face that there are bad things in life. You know? Someone here does not want to deal with the hard stuff. Someone here just wants to avoid it. Here's the thing, you know... You could avoid it all you want, but are you really experiencing pure happiness and pure bliss by pushing away the bad stuff? You know, sometimes we do have to go through the bad stuff. We have to experience the dark stuff in order for us to experience the good stuff. You know, that's the balance there. 
Yeah, uh, four of swords. We got the eight of wands here. Okay, tell me about the knight of swords with the five of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. What's happening here is I feel like if we have someone here that's really, really insecure, we have someone here who has abandonment issues, I feel like this is a situation where it goes back to someone's childhood. And I feel like there's an energy of pretending like someone here is fine or that someone here had a great childhood when in fact that's not the case here. Um, there's definitely an energy of avoiding. There's definitely an energy of avoiding here. Okay, uh, what can Taurus do to overcome their blocks and challenges for October 2022? Yeah, just there's a lack of forward movement here. Okay, what else? Uh, what can Taurus do to overcome their blocks and challenges? King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay, there you are. Four of Wands. Two of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, another two here. I, I think one of the most important things is to really accept what has happened here to you because that Two of Swords could be a representation of denial and, and, and start the healing process, start moving on. Because I feel like there is stuff from your childhood that you're still holding on to that you're not letting go here, Taurus. Okay? Um, it's Ten of Swords and the Emperor. Someone here has major parent, parent issues, like daddy issues or mommy issues. I feel like there was a betrayal from the parent here that you're, there's, that you're still holding on to. I don't know. This betrayal could it, it be an indication that, you know, this parent might have taken your college funds or taken your money or something like that. Okay? Um, it's sort of like an energy of like, I cannot believe it. But there is also an energy with you where you're sort of like growing, maturing, evolving, and leveling up here, Taurus. Okay? Um, tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Ten of Pentacles. This is interesting. I mean, you could be currently in a relationship without you're dealing with the relationship where someone here feels like they don't deserve to be in a relationship here. It, you could, it could be you feeling this way or the person that you're dealing with that's feeling this way because I'm getting, you know, I, I feel like you and this person have higher levels of commitment, but there's a sense of like feeling like you're wasting your time or someone here feels like they're wasting their time. I'm getting energy. Someone here feels like they don't deserve good things. Two of Pentacles here with the Five of Wands. We have the Six of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So what's happening here is I feel like we have someone here that's holding on to a lot of trauma, pain. That I feel like someone here is not dealing with. There's an energy of sort of like having some sort of like internal dialogue or internal battle here. Uh, Ten of Swords. With the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor here, and the Hangman, Pisces energy. What's happening here is I feel like someone here is looking for someone to take responsibility for their actions because I do feel like we have someone here that has hurt you, okay? Well, this is interesting. What I'm also getting here is that there could have been some sort of sexual abuse from like a, like a, like a, like a family member. Yeah. So, and I feel like maybe that's why you might block out certain things when things happen to you because I, I just feel like you want to focus on the positive and you don't want to go back to, to that negative space. You know, it sounds logical, but, you know, it, 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 it's sort of like, you know, the more that you avoid it, the more that it's going to fester and it, it becomes a bigger thing. Okay, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.